Hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I create a navigation tool for students in my geometry course. And I'm gonna show you some quick time-saving tips right here. I'm gonna say solve problems involving the triangle angle sum theorem. Okay, so there it is. I mean, as a geometry teacher, yeah, I want my students to be able to do that. And I always like to word the objective as solve problems involving because I could put several examples links to several examples in any of these columns here off to the right. I'm gonna show you how I do that really easily and really quickly. Now, many people have been asking me on social media in an email, it's like, how do you get the images? How do you get the images? Honestly, I'll use software programs. Like sure, I might use GeoGebra or Desmos to create something, but like you, I don't have a lot of time. So there's a lot of stuff out there online. So I might find some. I mean, how hard is it to find triangle angle sum theory problems online? Let's see if we can give it a shot here. So let's go Google triangle angle sum whoop, theorem problems. Let's see what Google put, spits out here. All right, I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit and find something here. Uh, look at this, let's go to this one from Long Branch Public Schools. This one's on the first uh, page of a Google search, let's see. Now in my head, I know what basic questions look like. I mean, look at right here. To me, those are basic questions right there. Let me zoom in, you see what I mean? I could take screenshots of that, but let's see. To me, that's more of an intermediate question. You see how I found it right there? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to screenshot this right here for intermediate. Now, on a Mac, I hit Command-Shift-4, okay? Now, on Command-Shift-4, and then I just take the screenshot, and there it is. It's going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to put a link to that later in my sheet. I'll show you how, all right? So there's an image I have right there, but let's just keep going here. Ooh, there's something that's a little more involved, see? I like that one. To me, that's definitely at least intermediate. I don't know about advanced, but again, there's no right or wrong here. That's the beautiful part about it. All right, so let's take a look here and see. There's a lot of exercises right here. I mean, to me, these are basic questions. So I'll command shift four, take a screenshot of those, right? Right there. And let's see. Now, right here, I'll definitely put this as another intermediate question, maybe right here. And again, I forgot how to do it on a PC, but um, to take a screenshot, that is, ooh, these are challenge problems. Let's see here. We need to go 120, 60. Yeah, this requires some working around a little bit. Okay, and so what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of this right here. I'll put this in the advanced category and a screenshot of this one right here. There we go. So now, we're ready to put these links in our navigation tool. So what I do, all right, to try to keep my organizational sanity in my Google Drive, as I go in my Google Drive here, all right, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. All right, right here I have, uh, where is it, where is it? Navigation tools right here, 2024 to 2025, okay? So I'll go in there and I have another folder called geometry links for the navigation tool. This is in this folder, I store all my images, if you will, uh, that I link to. And these are the three navigation tools that I have here for um, my classes. So right here, I'm going to go into the folder, right? And look in here. In this unit one, Foundations of Geometry folder, I got tons of images that I put in the unit one navigation tool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and right click, and I'm going to make a new folder and call it unit two. All right, I forgot what the title was, but I'll retitle it later. Unit two uh, images. There we go. And here's the important part. I want to actually make the folder. I want to make that viewable by anybody who has the link within my district. So I'll right click. Okay, if I right click on that, hit share. And I'll hit share right here. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it viewable, viewable by anyone in New Haven Public Schools, right? Because that's my entire district right there. So then I hit done. So any image I put in this folder is automatically viewable by my students who are in the district, if that makes sense. That way I don't have to do that process for every individual item I put in there. See what I mean? So now I'm gonna click on this folder and go in it, right? And look here, all right? I'm gonna go to my desktop right here. I took a bunch of screenshots. And so this one was, uh, this was an intermediate problem, I think, right there. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna call this right click rename. I'm gonna call it 1.1. Whoop. Rename it 1.1 intermediate. Okay. And I'll take this one right here and I'll call this basic, if you will. Right. So just for, for my notes and purposes, I'm gonna rename that as 1.1 basic. And what I'm gonna do, and let's actually do it for an advanced one too. I think this one was more of an advanced question, I believe. Um, or maybe that was intermediate. I don't remember. But the point is, um, whatever, I'll just put, I'll call this intermediate for now. 1.1 intermediate uh, second image. Okay, so now I'm going to take these three. One, hold down shift. Two, three. And I'm going to drag these in my Google Drive folder right here. All right, see how it's uploading those items there? There we go. And so now, if I see, here's the basic picture, right, right there. And so what I want to do basically is I'm just going to right click on it. I'm going to go to share and copy the link right there. Again, right click, go to share, hit copy link. I'm going to copy that link right there. And now what I do is go back to my navigation tool and I'm going to type in the word link, if you will. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hit, I'm going to click on that cell, hit command or control K, control K or command K that lets you hyperlink something. You could also hit the link icon in the upper corner, but command K works so fast for me. And then I hit control V to paste and look at that. There it is. It's linked now. And of course, what I should do here to make it nice and pretty is to go highlight these. Highlight all these right here and I'll, you know, align them to be centered and, you know, kind of like that, if you will. So look at that. If I click on the link, I could see a link to a basic type of question for that objective. All right. Now, for the inter I'll do the same for intermediate. I'm going to go back to my Google Drive folder. I'm going to right click on this, go to share, copy link. And then I'll type in the word link, comma, link. Because I'm going to put two links in this one right now. Okay. See what I mean? I'm going to highlight the first word link. Remember, Command K or Control K to hyperlink. Control K. And now I will Command V to paste. Boom. There it is. See that intermediate problem right there? That's now linked to that link right there. And I'll click on this. Right here, I'll highlight the word link. Command K. And... Let's go back here. I want to get the link to the second intermediate one. I'm going to get the link to this one right here. So right click, share, copy link, and then go here and paste it. Boom. There you go. So teachers, if you as a team take time during your next common planning, maybe, uh, maybe you work as a team, author the objectives, another person finds the problems, another person can start creating this document and you can have a working document really, really quickly here, okay? And if you ever have problems for which you don't want to give an advanced example, you could just go click on the cell and just simply kind of go to the gray color to fill it in. You see what I mean? So you start authoring objectives. You could fill them in with links using that process there, and that's kind of how I do it. So uh, especially for a geometry course, it's a pain in the butt to try to put images in cells here. But from my experience, what I've seen so far, the more links that I put in there, the more students will actually stay in this navigation tool and better yet see, as Peter Liliadal says, what they know and what they don't know, right? And they can also see where they are and where they're going. Because remember, the objectives you put in the navigation tool are going to be the same objectives you put on your building thinking classrooms grading rubric, right? And so when students can see their grades, the checks, the H's, the G's, all that, all right? All that anecdotal data tells a story, right? But if there's areas which they still need help on, they know specifically what objectives they still need yet to master at whatever level, if that makes sense. I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you have any further questions, you can always email me, tim at brzmath.com. And uh, on behalf of Melissa McCain, we both wish you much success as you continue to engage your students within your thinking classroom.